in the flyweight division at UFC 291. You got CJ Vergara coming in at 11 and 4, taking on Vinicius Salvador, who comes in at 14 and 5. So you got American versus Brazilian. This should be a good one. Salvador, one inch or one inch height advantage at 5'7, if you want to call it an advantage. He's five years younger at 27 years old. Vergara is 32. But speaking of advantages, Salvador does have an advantage in reach, a three inch reach advantage. He fights left handed. Vergara fights right handed. Both guys very active. I love when fights are set up like this. Vergara, 5.6 significant strikes per minute to 5.2 for Salvador. Takedown game, really minimal uh, for both guys so far, less than a takedown over the course of three rounds. To make matters worse, in terms of the takedown game, Vergara is 72% takedown defense. He's coming off the win over Daniel Lacerda by KO. He lost to Tatsuro Tyra by armbar submission and beat Clydeson Rodriguez by split de- split decision. So, you know, he's winning more than he's losing, but they're not easy wins, that's for sure. Now, Salvador lost to Victor Altamirano by decision and beat Shannon Ross at the Contender Series by KO. So, I can see why the odds are somewhat close in this fight, but uh, despite Salvador being younger, a little taller, having a longer reach, Vergara is just too good. I mean, this guy is going to get inside. He's going to break the defense of Salvador. He's going to land some big shots. And Salvador might go down, but either way, I think Vergara is going to outstrike Salvador. He's had a little bit better of a competition. He's had more fights. So that 5.6 significant strikes per minute is a little more solid for him versus Salvador striking. I mean, Salvador's got to prove something to me in this fight. I like CJ Vergara to win this fight. And if I'm unsure of a, of a finish, which I am unsure of a finish in this fight, I do believe it could go to a decision. Uh, that's when the stats really play a factor. And I think this fight could go to a decision. And even if it doesn't, I like Vergara. But whether it gets stopped early or goes to a decision, I think Vergara uh, has the odds in his favor, right? Definitely on significant strikes. And the takedown game is not existing. He's got good takedown defense. He's going to break the defense once again. So I like CJ Vergara, in my opinion, to win this thing at worst by decision to move to 12 and 4, flyweight division, UFC 291.